the death 2019 of firefighter Robert Doerr. Now they're going to go ahead and kick off right at 1 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and hand the camera to them and let them get started. Thank everybody for coming out today. As most of you already know, we're here today to discuss the murder investigation of Robert Doerr, who was murdered on February 26, 2019. This senseless, selfish act, selfish act will forever leave a void in the lives of Robbie's family, his friends, and his co-workers. His death rocked this community as he had just finished his shift serving the citizens of Evansville as a firefighter, truly one of Evansville's bravest. Today is the first step in seeing some type of justice for Robbie. A short while ago, Larry Richmond Sr. and Elizabeth Fox Doerr were charged with the murder of Robbie. For over three years, EPD investigators, along with the FBI, the Vandenberg County Prosecutor's Office, and the Vandenberg County Cyber Crimes Task Force have been working tirelessly to get to where we are today. So we have uh, Evansville Police Public Information Officer Anna Gray and Mike Larson from the Fire Department are both going to speak shortly, and Anna will fill you in on a lot more of the details. So thank you all for being here. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, again, I'm Sergeant Anna Gray with the Evansville Police Department Public Information Office. Uh, due to the nature of this investigation, we will not be taking questions at this time. The affidavits are on file. They're also going to be available at the back of the room today, so please pick one up on your way out. Uh, the information in the affidavit will answer most questions. There's also charging information at the back of the room as well. Um, I think that's going to answer most of the questions that you all have. Um, it's a very lengthy read, uh, so I didn't want to read it all today. Uh, so please take one, go over details, and that'll, again, answer a lot of the questions. Um, I'm going to take you back to February 26, 2019. On that evening, Evansville firefighter Robert Doerr had just left work and was returning home. Robert Doerr was shot and killed outside of his residence on that very evening. Evansville police officers were dispatched to the 2700 block of Oakley Street for shots fired right just a little bit after 7 p.m. Officers located Robert Doerr in his driveway, but unfortunately he passed away on scene. This has been a long investigation and investigators have been working around the clock to follow up on every lead, no matter how big or how small. We are relieved today to have an update in this case, as I'm sure the community is as well, friends and family along with that. Larry Ali Richmond has been a suspect in this investigation. Richmond was arrested in 2019 for federal gun charges. He has been incarcerated ever since then, so he has not been out, um, just so that the public is aware of that. Investigators also turned their attention towards Elizabeth Fox Door when more information was developed throughout the investigation. Again, Elizabeth Fox Door was the wife of Robert Door. Elizabeth was arrested on July 12, 2022, very recently, for the charge of perjury. She has been incarcerated ever since that date. On today's date, both Elizabeth Fox Door and Larry Ali Richmond have been charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Again, the affidavits are on file with a lot of details. Um, throughout the investigation. Um, it's, it's a pretty lengthy read and the charging information is available as well. Um, we just wanted to update the public. Obviously it's been over three years and I know everybody was um, waiting tire tirelessly, especially the Evansville Fire Department and family of the victim uh, for an update. And so we were, were very relieved today to at least have an update in this case. I will now let uh, Division Chief Mike Larson speak on behalf of the Evansville Fire Department. Good afternoon, Division Chief Mike Larson with the Evansville Fire Department. I have a brief statement that we've prepared. We won't be taking any questions after the statement. First off, the Evansville Fire Department would like to thank our brothers and sisters with the Evansville Police Department, their detectives, and all the other agencies involved for keeping us updated throughout this entire investigation. They work tirelessly day in, day out, following every lead, no matter how big or how small. Even if it was a dead end, they didn't quit. <clears throat> it's because of that dedication in finding the truth that brought us to today's announcement. It's been approximately three and a half years since, since we lost our brother, Robbie, to this senseless crime. The citizens of Evansville lost a firefighter who always went above and beyond the call of duty to save lives and property. Even more importantly, he was a son, a brother, a father, and a grandfather. His brothers and sisters of this department were robbed that night 
and we are now able to bring some closure to this nightmare we've been living for the last three and a half years. We are relieved that the long wait is over and the individuals involved in this murder are being brought to justice for not only Robbie's murder, but the pain they have caused his family, his friends, and our department. Thank you. All right, at this time, this concludes the press conference. Um, we appreciate your patience. Um, again, there are, there's information is on file, the affidavits, the charging information with a lot of details in this investigation. I believe that's gonna help answer a lot of questions. I know there's a lot of questions out there um, about the length of the investigation and, and everything else, and I think that's gonna help describe it. So thank you all for coming, and that concludes the press conference. Now, as you saw just there, is my mic on? I just there statements from EPD as well as EFD, PIO, Anna Gray, and uh, Chief.